had a regular job working at the United Nations. Great organization, great organization. And while there, Trevor, I got fired. I got fired because somebody was jealous of what I was doing, made some problems for me, so my contract was not renewed. That mm. forced me into entrepreneurism and being who I am today. Hold on, hold on. I want to stop here. Okay, I want to okay. stop here. So when you got let go. Yeah. Fired. Mm -hmm. Fired. Yeah. You got sounds the Sounds better. Yeah. Sounds better. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got fired. Yeah. They, they give you a cardboard box? Uh, well, back then it was more, it wasn't car, no, it was the full cardboard, like a folder, manila folder. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. You get the escort you out the building? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So when that happened, before you jumped into mm -hmm. entrepreneurship, did you try going back into corporate America or did you try anything else? No, no you no. just immediately said, forget this. You said, forget this. And what I started doing, all the free things like Ramon, could you fly here on your dime and then sleep outside or we're going to give you no food? Could you do that for free? Before <laughs> I'd be like, yes, because I had a full-time job and had money. I'm like, nope. And that's where I had to learn to charge and ask for money and start to understand that you need money to live. Wow. As an entrepreneur. Yeah. Yes. You, you yes. Need, that, that. Are you saying you need a little cash flow? Oh, come on, come on, come on. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's go. Is that what you're talking I, about? I, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You got into entrepreneurship. Yep. And what was the next step for you? Yeah, for the next step, for example, as a speaker, as an example, I had many, I had some clients while I was at the United Nations because I got fired. Um, and that's when I had to turn and say, listen, no longer can I do this for metaphorically a dollar. I had to do this now for $10, $20, whatever that scale may be. And that's why I had to dial it up and be a full time, not just side hustle, not just got out a full check entrepreneur. And I think that's the thirst where it got to me of experimentation. For example, mm -hmm. uh, not knowing that at CES, Computer Electronics Show, some of you may have been there, largest you know, computer show in the world. I didn't know the real bloggers could meet somebody in the back of the room. I was in the front sitting there just at the event. And so I went up to Michael Dell and was like, I have a question. And he said, nothing and left. So I had to learn the game of entrepreneurship. And now, years later, I'm here hosting an event with Michael Dell, launching a computer line. He's in the back of the room saying, I read your blog, Ramon. And I'm like, oh, my God, Michael <laughs> Dell reads my blog. Wow. Hold on, hold on, wow. hold on. That right yeah. there is a mic drop. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because back then, they didn't want me. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm now, hot now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right? That's exactly what happened. That's nice, that's exactly, man. Yes. So, all right, talk to me about uh the the beginning stages of that journey sure. though right so when you got fired yeah. i want to know the emotional the mindset that you were going through yeah. what was that like for you uh well if, see ladies can y'all just cover your ears a minute it's like when i crashed my car a few weeks ago i didn't care about me crashing my car mm. my wife was in the car oh okay and she's okay. always telling me to slow down so my only concern was like yo babe i just want you to know i got fired but she's one of the best women in the world Proverbs 31 woman, just off the chain woman. And she's like, okay, I know we'll figure it out. And I did figure it out. So bottom line is after that, I just went to my clients that I had. I had the relationships. I, the who you know. I knew people over all these years. Ah. And I just had to turn that in to say, hey, I'm available now. I would love to host your event. I'd love to fly to your conference. I would love to freelance write for you. And what's the fee to charge for it? So I turned the relationships I had because since I had a full-time job, I could do it for free. I now just turned them up into profitable uh, enterprise.